Hey guys, it's Jake's Tutorials, or Jake, and today I'll be showing you how to upgrade or downgrade the iPod Touch. And before we do anything, we want to plug in the iPod, and obviously the computer has to be on, either laptop, PC, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, this tutorial is for Windows, but it works basically the same for Mac, just like one key different in the laptop, like computer part but so let's get on to the tutorial if your iPod is on all you have to do is turn it off for right now so let's just turn that off wait for that to turn off and then once it's off just push the home and power button at the same time for about one, 10 seconds so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About until you hear something on the computer. Then just hold the home button for about ten more seconds. Then you hear that thing on the computer. Just hold it until iTunes pops up. And right now, iTunes just popped up. So I'll bring this over. Right, right now, iTunes just picked up that the iPod is in recovery mode. And so it says, iTunes has detected an iPod recovery mode, and you must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Now, just click OK, and this is a pretty big part. You want to hold Shift, and then click Restore. So I'll do that. Um, now, I already have a download part. Like I'm in my downloads folder, I just downloaded this second generation 3.1.2 iPod firmware. To show you that this is um, that this works. This is the latest version as of today. Um, so once you find your firmware, just click open, and it'll say iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone. I mean iPod to iPhone 3.1. 1.2 software and we'll verify the restore with Apple now this is fine all you have to do is just click OK it's for iPod slash iPhone it, I've done this and it works so I'll get back to you once it's done so right now it's saying well it just said extracting I um, software and this should come up right here a white screen usually and it'll say preparing iPod for res restore. Then this should come up. Okay. We'll just wait for this. It's almost done. Um, once it says waiting for iPod, this thing will come up right here. Um, it's supposed to do that, so don't get freaked out. And then it'll just do this. Like the flashing. And I'll zoom out. That's what it's supposed to look like. This is what that is supposed to look like. Here's here's just a quick update of it um, while I'm here. It is about halfway done. And as you can see, that is pretty much done. So I'll come back when it's done. Now it's verifying it. It's about done. Once this pops up, just click OK, and you should have a downgraded or upgraded iPod Touch. So now it's just loading. Okay, so now if this comes up, all you have to do is just turn it off, which you can do, and... Unplug it. I'll unplug it right now. here. Now, once this comes up, just slide and unlock it. Now, if you go into settings, general, about, you will see that if you go to the version, it will be the version that you either downgraded or upgrade upgraded to. And also, if you plug it in again, you can set as new iPod or restore backup. And I'm just going to put it as Jake's iPod because it is my iPod 
and I'm going to uncheck automatically sync songs because it's not jailbroke yet. So, I'm going to get out of this sync because I don't like that. Okay, so once it's done, then you will have successfully downgraded or upgraded a iPod Touch, which is pretty special. Now you can downgrade to 2.2.1, which is, in my opinion, the safest jailbreak. I might make a tutorial on that. I'm on 3.1.2 right now. But I have a tutorial with this black rain that's uploading right now in HD. And all you do is click make it rain while it's plugged in. And it's pretty easy. But yeah, I'll make a tutorial on that. And... Now it's already it's already jailbroken. So yeah, um, I'll, I'll as I said, I, it's uploading right now, so you can watch that. You can jailbreak it, and that's it for this tutorial. This was requested by a user, and he will his username will be in the description. So go check him out. And if you liked this, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have, if you like a camera or a microphone or something like a laptop, I really need to get um, a new microphone, laptop, and a new camera to record with because I don't really like this camera. But that's beside the point. I hope you like this tutorial and yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.